To bring an idea to life, you first have to write it down. So this very video was an idea. So what did I do? I sat down and I started writing down everything that I want to say in this video and I turned it into a script. So if you think that being a YouTuber is all about setting up and then press record and start talking without following a script, there's a point where you are going to go off tangent and as a result, your audience will be like, huh? So scripting your YouTube videos is very important. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the importance of writing a script for your YouTube videos. So like I said, to bring an idea to life, you first have to write it down. After you have written it down, then you have to develop it into something that your audience can follow and also comprehend. Because at the end of the day, your audience clicked and watched your YouTube video because they felt that you had something important to say. So if you do not know how to actually express this idea to them, then this is where they will start clicking off your video. Now, you and I as YouTubers know that audience retention plays a major role for the YouTube algorithm to promote our YouTube videos. Writing a script for your YouTube videos helps you as a content creator to follow a framework or a concept that you want to impart to your audience. Whether the concept it is inspirational, educational, or even entertaining, it's only you as a content creator who know what is your end game. So very important that before you sit down, you know exactly what you want to feed your audience. So if you have a script for your YouTube videos, then it becomes very easy for your audience to follow and also understand what you are talking about. The moment that your audience understand and also begin to enjoy what your YouTube video is about, be rest assured that they will want more from you. They will want to know how often do you upload videos on your channel and on which days. That way, it helps them also to make the decision to subscribe to your YouTube channel, click the bell notification so that they can wait for more of your content. YouTube is about building a community and the only way you can build a community on YouTube is to drop valuable information or valuable inspirational videos that they will come for more. And as a result of that, you are going to have people who come through and say, notification gang, the moment you see those comments in your comment section, just know that you are starting to build a community. These are people that have already started building a relationship with you as a content creator, as well as your content and your YouTube channel. I know that English never loved us, especially us. So it's very important that you do not strain or stress yourself about perfect grammar or perfect English or having the perfect accent when you are going to be speaking on your YouTube videos. Just speak, be understandable or comprehensible as it's said. Do not try to do something that you are not because people will see right through you and some of them will even ask you, why don't you just be real, be authentic, speak to us like you would with your friends very important that you become extremely casual not technical and not formal and definitely you do not have to be all grammatical when you are a youtuber or dropping videos that you feel they have very important message for your audience script writing for your youtube videos also help you develop your confidence on camera imagine if i did not script this video right here is the script of this very video that I am doing. Imagine if I did not write this script. I would be like, um, so... Mm. Then I, my train of thought may come back and then I will say one sentence again. I'll be like, uh... Hey guys, you know, I don't know. You will see how you can do with this whole scripting thing. But all I just want to say to you is that, um... Yeah, just script your YouTube videos. See? People are not going to take an interest in hearing that. People want to know why they should script their YouTube videos in order for them to gain views and subscribers. If they are monetized, they want to know how a script is going to help them earn money on YouTube. So to write a comprehensible script, there are three tips or even four tips that you need to follow. The first one, you need to write a hook. If you were listening to this very video, you would have seen that I try to hook you with my opening sentence. I said to bring an idea to life, you have to write it down. That was my attempt of hooking you as my audience. 
Now, a hook can come in different forms. They can come through a statement and that has some facts in it or just fact or an exaggerated statement or something that is going to shock people but still be curious enough to hear more about what you want to say. So if your opening statement is you are doing it wrong on how to get rid of acne. Of course, people that have acne and this video is for them, they will want to know what is it exactly that I'm doing wrong and what is the right way. And that is when they stick watching the video from the beginning to the end so they can get what is the right way to get rid of acne. So hooking your audience from the beginning of your YouTube video, it is going to help you with audience retention. I will speak about the most important part of your YouTube video the moment people start clicking your YouTube video. So after hooking your audience, the next thing that you will have to do to still capture their attention is to set up a scene about whatever your YouTube video is going to be about. For example, in the beginning of my YouTube video, I set up a scene. I said to bring an idea to life, you got to write it down. That's a scenery that I had set out. So the moment that you are done setting out a scene, then you need to get to the body of what your YouTube video is going to be about. If you are going to be solving a problem, then get straight to the point and start solving the problem for the audience. If it's tips that you have, then start dropping these tips so that your audience can start taking pens and papers and start writing down on whatever tips that you may have for them. If it's entertainment, then jump straight to the climax of whatever skit or drama that you have for us to keep us staying, to keep us entertained as well as staying on your YouTube video. The first one is the first 30 seconds of your YouTube video. The second one is one minute and beyond because this is where audience retention plays a major role and this is what you will see in your analytics where the YouTube algorithm or the, your analytics will tell you that people watched so much of your YouTube video, meaning that a majority of people, if they watched three minutes of a 10 minute video, you will see arrows pointing down, you will see all kinds of, an, of analytics about that, about that particular video. But your first 30 seconds are extremely, extremely important to YouTube. And that is why YouTube does not want you as a content creator to mess up your first 30 seconds of your YouTube video. So I mentioned earlier that a part of your video that are extremely important to the YouTube algorithm because your first 30 seconds of your YouTube videos are considered as the key moment in your YouTube video. So if people are dropping out at 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 25 seconds, that means that, that YouTube video is not going to get pushed by the YouTube algorithm. It will just toss it and it dies on the platform. So that is why your first 30 seconds as well are important that you do not use profanity as well. The moment you start swearing in the first 30 seconds of your YouTube video, just be rest assured that that video is is going absolutely nowhere until you edit that profanity going forward. In the body of your YouTube video, you've got to drop your jams, the value that you have proposed to your audience because they'll be sitting, watching and waiting what exactly is the value of this video so that they can subscribe or continue watching to the very end. It's very important that as a content creator on YouTube that you keep people watching for a long time, meaning that people must watch at least the majority of your YouTube video so that the algorithm will be happy enough to carry your video and promote it to more people. So I'm not quite sure how much of attention you were paying to this video. You will realize that I did not introduce myself. I definitely did not have an intro and definitely did not have any video or clips of where that are part of the intro because the first 30 seconds of this video is extremely important. Same goes with you as a content creator. Right now, many content creators are dropping this. Hi, my name is Clancy's and welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel is all about one, two, three, four, five. And then when I'm done, then there's going to be this clip about me, whatever, doing whatever it is that I'm doing with some background music, wasting all that valuable time because right now many people when you have an intro in your youtube video they quickly click off and that will and that hurts your audience retention the most important metric for the youtube algorithm to push your youtube video is your audience retention remember youtube's number one goal is watch time 
if people are dropping out of your YouTube videos earlier on, then of course the YouTube algorithm is not going to see the value in promoting your YouTube video. At some point, you will have to get rid of all these intros on your YouTube video so that you gain the audience retention that is going to pick your YouTube video and get promoted on the YouTube platform, resulting with you gaining views and subscribers. Even YouTube itself, this is from the horse's mouth, recommends that drop all these intros and get straight to the point with your YouTube video, meaning that hook your audience, get straight to the body and start solving a problem if you are there to solve a problem. If you are there to entertain, climb on the climax already and let people get entertained and then stay entertained watching that video. If it's inspirational, jump straight to the inspirational part of your YouTube video and keep people entertained or inspired about whatever inspiration you may have for them. So instead of going around the bushes before you get to the point, by that time people would have long clicked off and the value that you have proposed or you have brought for them will just disappear into the cyberspace and nobody will ever know that that video was valuable. So the body of your YouTube script, it is where you jump straight to the point and deliver. So once you've dropped the value, this is when you jump straight into conclusion and wrap up your story. Because at this point in time, this is where your audience are like, wow, this is awesome. This is so helpful. Oh, this is so inspirational. Oh, wow. I am so entertained. Probably people will be in stitches if it's comedy. And then you just wrap up this whole thing. And in your conclusion, you must also include your call of action. This is where you tell people if they like this video, they must give it a like, must subscribe to your channel and turn on the bell notification. Leave a comment down below and share the video as far as they can. And also do direct people to your end screen and tell them to watch this next video. It will also entertain you or inspire you or whatever the case might be. And then from there, thank your audience for watching your YouTube video and that's the end of your YouTube video. So at the end of the day, for you, it is when you look at your analytics and then you see that you have achieved all the metrics that will get your YouTube video promoted by the YouTube algorithm, resulting with you seeing your YouTube channel growing in terms of views and subscribers and also building a community that is going to be loyal to you and your channel. And writing a script for your YouTube videos also helps you to focus on performance, delivery, as well as giving the best that you can for your audience. And also helps you gain confidence in what you are saying on camera. Well, that is it guys with this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Do leave me a comment down below and let me know if you do script for your YouTube videos. If you don't, please give us the secret how you do it. How you do it in speaking logically on camera. I will also highly appreciate it if you share this video far and wide. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.